Okay, Donald, for me, the kitchen is all about convenience. I don't spend a lot of time here. I'm not very comfortable in the kitchen. And this is my favorite appliance because I love eggs. And if I'm just boiling them, I just wait for this to sing and then I know that they're done. So that's how um, good I am in the kitchen. Right, well, like it might look pretty now, but you don't even know how, <laughs> how long it times the eggs for. It starts singing. I know to come downstairs. That's all you need to know. Fair enough. Okay, well, today we're going to poach some eggs. One of the simplest things to do in the kitchen. Okay. So to start things off, I want you to crack an egg into a little container or a glass like this. Right. I'm nervous now doing this with you watching me. It's all going to go <laughs> horribly wrong. Beautiful. Couldn't go any better. No shell. Fantastic. So we have the egg beautifully cracked. Thank you very much. Um, we have our water, which is at the boil. We're mm -hmm. going to turn down the heat, but we're going to add a little bit of cider vinegar okay. in there. Does it have to be cider vinegar? You can use malt vinegar if you want, okay. if you have that instead. Oh, nicely done. Just a little dash. Cool. And then just season it up with a bit of salt. Thank you. So that's your water ready to go now. What we need to do is create a little whirlpool. So my top tip for doing this is to use a little balloon whisk like this. Okay. So um, whatever you way yeah, you want to do just it, spin get your whirlpool whatever. going. Okay. Looking good. It is just water now, Donald. I know, but I like to be <laughs> excited about these things. <laughs> okay, now while it's still swirling, bring your egg right down to the water, into the whirlpool and dip it in. Uh, no, well, oh, that's it's good. Okay. It's pretty good. And then you just let it do its magic. For how long? Stick on your timer. I do it for three minutes and you okay. get a nice soft interior and a cooked outside. Lovely. Beautiful. Okay, Donald, it's looking good. I think it's ready. Three minutes is up. So you've got a wonderful set outside and a runny yolk. So I'll give you a slotted spoon. And if you just drain that onto a plate lined with some okay. kitchen paper. And is it necessary to have this spoon? Yeah, so you don't get any more of the cooking liquid. Okay. So I have some lovely toast, which we've grilled under a hot grill with some cheese, some tomatoes and mushrooms. Yum. This is a perfect little breakfast and a nice finishing point for our poached eggs. Great. So if you want to pop that on top. Uh, wow. Nicely done. That looks amazing. Great. Thanks, Donald. I'm actually going to do this at home. I, I will be checking up on you. <laughs> <laughs> Donald, this looks absolutely delicious. Is there anything that I need to know about buying eggs? Well, of course, it's really important to always look for the Board B a quality assurance mark. Great. Well, I can't wait to try it at home now.